Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate for you how to administer a transdermal patch, specifically fentanyl. So what is fentanyl? Fentanyl is an analgesic. It's used to treat pain and in this case patients who are using transdermal patches need them because they have chronic severe pain that isn't being managed with PO medications. So the transdermal patch will deliver this continuous amount of medication over a period of time. So whenever you are going to be administering fentanyl, you want to watch out for some things. You want to check the patient's respiratory status because fentanyl can cause respiratory depression. So is a respiratory status normal? Also check their blood pressure because it can cause hypotension and assess the patient's pain rating and its location and see how well the patch is being effective. And of course, before you administer the fentanyl patch, you'll want to do the patient's five rights. You need to ask yourself, do I have the right patient? Do I have the right drug? So you're going to look at the physician's order. You're going to look at your patch that you have in hand, make sure it says fentanyl. Do you have the right dose? And again, comparing the doctor's order with what you have in hand. Do you have, are you administering it at the right time? And is this the right route? Then you wanted to take, take it a step further and look at your package. Make sure it hasn't been opened, it's not damaged or been tampered with. If it has, you'll want to get a new one. And you wanna look at the expiration date. Each patch has an expiration date of when it expires, so make sure it's within date. And since this is a teaching video, we are using a demo dose. So it's for simulation only. This patch does not contain fentanyl. It's just to show you how to administer that. And of course, um, always follow the proper guidelines for administering medications and with the proper credentials. So first what we're going to do is we're going to remove the old patch and you want to wash your hands and you want to don gloves and it's very important you use gloves for this because although this patch needs to be removed because it's expired, it's time for a new dose, it still contains medication and you can get fentanyl on yourself. So you want to protect yourself from getting residue from this patch and if you don't know where the patch is, you can look in the MAR to see where the last nurse who administered charted it. It should say where they put it. Typically, they can be found on the upper arms, the upper chest, or the back, sometimes on the flank. So here on this patient, it is on the upper arm. So wash your hands, we're gonna don gloves, and we're going to remove it. And anytime you're removing a fentanyl patch, you need to have another nurse witness this with you, especially the disposal part. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to gently remove the patch and then you're going to fold it together, sticky side to sticky side like this. And then dispose according to your hospital's protocol and because this is a narcotic, again, you're gonna need another nurse to witness you disposing of this according to your institution's policy. And then after you dispose it, you can clean the site with some soap and water if it's left any residue because a lot of times from where it's sticky, lint and old dead cells like to collect around the site. So you could just take a washcloth and just with water and wipe the area off. So after removing the old patch, now it's time to put on the new one. And what you wanna do is you wanna open up the patch and you wanna be careful not to use scissors if you can help it because you don't wanna cut the patch that's inside of it. So just tear the patch open like that. And before you even start to take it off, you need to date and time this. And whenever you do this, you wanna make sure that you're doing it on the correct side because on this opposite side is the sticky side that you'll re be removing the adhesive backing. So it's the front, so make sure you're on the right side. So put the date. And sometimes your pens don't like to write on these very well. And put the time and put your initials. After doing that, you're gonna don some more gloves because remember, we wanna protect ourselves from that fentanyl patch that we're putting on. And whenever you're placing the patch, you're not gonna place it back on that same site you removed it, you're gonna rotate sites. So again, you can use the upper chest, the other upper arm or the back. And we're just gonna use that other arm. And you wanna make sure that the skin is completely intact, doesn't have a rash, it's not broken. And if it's really hairy in this area, you'll want to clip the hairs. Don't shave, but clip the hairs and put it there. Don't put it over 
any lotions or creams or anything like that. And you may, if the skin is dirty or oily, you'll need to clean the skin with some water. Don't use soaps or anything with any type of lotions in it because it can affect how well this patch sticks. Also, another tip is if your patient is confused, um, you don't want to put it somewhere where they can grab it off and it gets lost and maybe they have a child come to visit or someone they pick up that patch not knowing what it is they could get fentanyl on them so put it somewhere where they're not going to pick it off and try to pick an area that's not going to have a lot of friction on it or where it would easily come off as well so we're going to apply our patch over here and on most patches when you slightly bend them the backing will come off so gently take this part of the backing and just hold it up avoiding touching the back of the patch Place that on the skin and the other piece will come off as well and adheres to the skin and make sure that it's on the skin. There's no bubbles. All the edges are down. It's good to just hold it firmly down for about 20 to 30 seconds to make sure it's coming into contact with the skin correctly. And if the patient gets sweaty or over time, because some these are worn for several days, you may have to place some tape over it or a Tegaderm works really well just to keep it in place. Then after you place your patch, you'll doff your gloves and wash your hands and you will chart it. And it's very important you chart where you place the new patch so the nurse who's coming in after you in a couple days to change the patch will know where to find it easily. So that is how you apply a transdermal fentanyl patch. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.